Hey Jessicaats, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the only tip you need to know to memorize information fast, so be sure to stick around to find out what it is. Also, if you're new to the Jessicaat family, then click that little subscribe button so that you can take your study skills to the next level because I upload weekly study tips and three study parties every Wednesday if you're in Australia and I think it's every Tuesday if you're up north in the USA and Canada and other countries. So definitely click that little button here so that you can join in on all the Jessicaat fun. So when it comes to memorizing information, we're taught in such a regimented way at school that it becomes boring and also time consuming. But what if I told you guys that memorizing information could actually be fun and that you could learn something in less than half the time as what you're doing it at the moment? Well, I'm going to share with you my tip today. So if you find it helpful, then give it a thumbs up to let me know and show me some love. So what is the secret to learning information fast? It's actually really simple. The more meaningful it is, the easier and faster you'll be able to remember it. For example, I was actually learning a speech for a presentation I had to give and I could have just reread my notes over and over again or rewrote my speech over and over again, which would be very time consuming and boring. But instead, I decided that I would get creative here. So I actually have a floor length mirror in my bedroom and so I decided to get creative by drawing out all these different illustrations, adding a lot of color and vibrancy and doing different little symbols and arrows to draw connections. And through those illustrations, I actually mapped out my speech and told a story. Here is another example that we can do together to show you just how effective this technique is. Take this photo over here of photosynthesis. Now you could just redraw this diagram to add a little bit more meaning into your notes, or you could turn it into a really interesting story. So I'm going to tell you a story now and I want you to close your eyes and visualize everything that I say. This is a story of Rosie the Rose. Rosie the Rose was one of many roses in a big beautiful garden and her petals were the deepest of pink and her leaves were green and luscious. Every day, she would bask in the sun's rays and grow taller and stronger. But there was something happening below the surface that the human eye couldn't see. Every day, using the sun's energy, Rosie would take a big drink of water from the earth and she would inhale a calm and deep breath. Calm and deep also meant the initials CD or carbon dioxide, which is exactly what Rosie would inhale. Then, with a big sigh, Rosie would purse her lips together and make the shape of an O as she exhaled oxygen. As she would exhale oxygen, delicious little sticky candy would form all over Rosie's leaves. And the consistency of the sticky candy that would form on Rosie's leaves was almost like glue. And it happened to be glucose. Rosie the Rose would then hold on to some of the glucose for energy later on. And the rest she would eat right away. And just like that, you guys have learned about the process of photosynthesis. The process of plants using light energies, water and carbon dioxide to produce oxygen and glucose. Now, I like to think that my storytelling abilities are a lot more entertaining than redrawing diagrams or writing information in your notes over and over again. So that is my one tip to learn information fast and easily. And I'm pretty sure that you guys are gonna remember this information a day from now, a week from now, or even a month from now. So if you found this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up to let me know. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.